One of the key decisions in manufacturing, retail, and some service industry businesses is how much inventory to keep on hand, making sure you can come through on the promises to your customers. In general, we need to have a delicate balance between three classes of costs, ordering costs, hauling costs, and shortage costs or lost opportunity costs. So let's find out in this example how simulation can be used to understand the range of possible outcomes for our total cost. Let's take a look at the Excel workbook. Here is the workbook ready for us and you can access it from Resolver Pro Ribbon by clicking on Help, Examples, Simulation Examples and Inventory Model. We have a beginning inventory at the beginning of the first week. The weekly demand for our product is uncertain and here we have used the side person distribution for estimating demand. Let's double click on this cell. Here is the uncertain variable dialog. The CDF tab displays a chart of the cumulative form of the distribution function. The drop-down menu in the right pane shows various parameters that you can adjust. Let's click on a statistics view. It provides the summary statistics. There is also a percentiles view. We can also change chart settings and so on. Okay, here are some of the other problems assumptions. We may receive shipment and we face a two-week delivery lead time. We have a fixed order quantity size. The ending inventory of this week would be the beginning inventory of next week. Here we calculate the total holding costs, total order costs, total opportunity cost, and the total cost is calculated in cell Q14. Now let's run one simulation by clicking on Simulate Run Once. This frequency chart shows the range of possible outcomes for our total cost. Let me quickly walk you through the tabs. Here we have the cumulative frequency, reverse cumulative frequency, then here the sensitivity tab displays a tornado chart showing you which input has the most impact on the total cost. You can also verify the scatter plot tab. We just looked at a typical Monte Carlo simulation application. Now let's review a summary of what Monte Carlo simulation is. It is a flexible technique for modeling a real system in which uncertainty is a key factor. Monte Carlo simulation uses repeated random sampling to represent uncertainty. With appropriate sampling, Outputs are representative of results from all possible combinations of uncertain inputs. For a given decision, which are values of inputs under your control, simulation describes the outcomes and the probabilities that these outcomes will occur. 